Good morning. Doing a uh, inspection. Uh, property manager said it was pretty bad. She wanted us to go in and take a look. Uh, they were pretty sure it had bed bugs. Um, she wanted us to take a look and see before she gets a cleaning person in here because, of course, they're terrified. Um, so one of the things you always look for are fleas as well. And so I will uh, I'll flip this video around and tell you guys, show you what we're actually dealing with. So hallway, come back. Uh, we're always checking our pant cuffs for fleas when you first walk in. But uh, this is what we're dealing with. It's one of the bedrooms. Um, smells like cat urine. There's litter box. Somebody in here to sh literally shovel all this stuff out. Um, so it really smells like cat urine back here. So we can get in because, you know, obviously we can't get to the trim. We can't get to a lot of places. Um, we need to pull all these curtains and stuff down. And I don't mind pulling some of that stuff down, but, you know, we can't do anything when, you know, there's this kind of disaster. So, um, you know, in corners, um, bathroom. Actually, not that many bed bugs until we got to this room. All these black scuff marks that look like kick marks or somebody's kicked their shoe, that's literally where somebody has squished a bed bug on the wall. So if you walk into a place and you see this, that's exactly what that is. That's them squishing bed bugs on the wall. I've seen this countless times in really bad ones. Um, but yeah, you can see all that. Uh, it's over here along this wall as well. Um, we have some, of course this, you know, gotta love those sheet curtains. Um, oh, where were they? Yeah, here they are. Um, see them crawling. Uh, it's a vacant unit. Uh, I think uh, they were evicted last week. Um, so, uh, long or the short, and I, I told the property manager, and you know, it's important to have good working relationships with them, where you build that trust and honesty with them. Because I've had countless people say, "No, you got to get in there and do your job in a situation like this." Well, I got news for you: you can't do your job. So, what I'll do is I'll communicate with her. You know, we see this a lot. 